What's next for Dot Swoosh? Let's take a look at Nike's move in Web3, no matter what the market. GM, GM, Web3 Explorers, Mike DeMazzo here to help you navigate through the metaverse as your no-shill resource. You're probably wondering what Nike is still doing with NFTs or when will your clone X do something? You should know that Dot Swoosh isn't a quick flip PFP club, but rather a different community collective. For this video, we'll go over a quick rewind about Dot Swoosh, R Force One collection, and the merger of digital with physical, not digital. Definitely a word that we could leave to 2022. Nike's virtual studios launched the revolutionary Dot Swoosh platform in November last year with the success of its first NFT in August 2022, making about 185 million in NFT sales and around 90 million in royalties. Nike wanted to create a platform to support Web3 creators. Initially, the platform had the exclusive utility of allowing new community members to sign up with a Nike provided access code, but it is now closer to fulfilling its intended purpose of being an NFT marketplace. Yes, another NFT marketplace out there. But you know, this time it is actually different because it's Nike and then your dot swoosh ID is soul bound, meaning it's linked to your um, Nike login. So Nike recently launched its dot swoosh platform, which feels like an extension or rather an evolution of their sneakers app. Their goal with dot swoosh is to support Web3 creators as stated before. The platform is slowly being unveiled and access to membership will be open to the public. So if you're asking when will you get that email, just stand by and keep checking up on it. Maybe, you know, even reach out or be active in their different socials like Instagram and Twitter. So right now it is still invite only or you can get a dot swoosh through an IRL event. So you'll see that on their website where they have IRL events. Last I checked, it was like in Texas. I'm not sure if they will do one here in Japan, but it's definitely one that I look forward to whenever they do that. Back on April 18 this year, Dot Swoosh will airdrop OF1 posters to commemorate the launch of its first virtual sneaker collection. Nike is launching the R Force One collection, which features digital renditions of Air Force One Lowe's classics. These are two boxes people can purchase, the classic remix box and the new wave box. There will be multiple entry points to the purchase of an OF1 box, including swoosh.nike. All swoosh members will have a chance to purchase an OF1 virtual collection. Now, the R Force One collection of Nike's virtual creations will be released with an airdrop of free digital posters followed by a first access sale for those with the poster and a general access sale for all Dot Swoosh members. The OF1 box is available in two forms and contains co-created AF1s, Air Force Ones from your Force One winners. After members secure their boxes, a community reveal moment will occur and then a marketplace will be launched. So clearly they still haven't launched the marketplace. Even if you're going there online, um, you'll see that it's limited to people in the US um, and other countries. Like right now for me, when I checked on um, here in Japan, it definitely didn't show. So I had to kind of work with my way around that with a VPN. And so I, that's how I was able to secure in signing up for a code. And I think it also helped that I did have a Nike account prior. Now, in the future, some Nike virtual creations will unlock access to exclusive physical products and experiences. I think that's one of the best unlocks is creating that community event, especially where they have the available space already. So I could see it like launching with a new store um, that they're opening up, kind of driving retail back to the brick and mortar locations while also still combining the ability to connect with others virtually in you know the quote unquote metaverse. Nike is dropping a virtual collection of posters to celebrate its R Force One collection. The airdrop is available to those who have participated in the R Force One challenge as well as members of Nike's DI and SCI partnership organizations and those who have created a DOS Swoosh ID. The selection is randomized and participants will receive a confirmation email from um, official at swoosh.nike. So this part is important, especially when it comes to crypto web three is to pay attention to centers of email addresses and don't click any suspicious links. I like triple double like 
quadruple check all the emails coming into me and that's just me myself being more secure in knowing that i interact with a lot of things with web3 now next up is the basic lingo when it comes to web3 speak all you need to know is dots was covered was wallet token nike virtual creation snapshot airdrop utility mint pass trade in first access versus general access generative reveal and marketplace if you've been in nfts or crypto for a while you already know what most of these terms are so nike launched the r force one collection with an airdrop of free digital posters during general access dot swoosh members can purchase an of1 box with two options as mentioned classic remix or new wave after purchase users can reveal their virtual creation and see what of style they secured They'll also have a market for users to collect more virtual creations and access to exclusive physical product. I know it does feel like a slow rollout with Nike, especially when it comes to crypto or NFTs in general, where if nothing's happening in like a week, it feels like the devs have left us and the whole team is gone. But this is Nike, a big company, so I could see them wanting to make sure that each step is right. This week, Dot Swoosh's OF1 posters were released and people who shared and dis dissected the blogs were thanked, questions were answered, and next week, the final designs and co-creator royalties will be revealed with an inside look at the design process from a few creators. So I would definitely pay attention to both of their socials with Twitter and Instagram to see any interactions. I know I missed a bunch of stuff with Instagram and Twitter just because of IRL um, responsibilities, but definitely there was um, a contest held on Instagram that I did see on helping create those posters. So it was on November 18, Dot Swoosh, the airdrop had a total of 106,453 OF1 posters to its first generation members. The number of posters is a reference to Nike and they were inspired by categories voted on by community by the community last year eligible members were have a one-third chance of receiving one of these posters i was included in the shot snapshot because i had checked dune analytics but no cigar on getting that airdrop overall i am a fan of nike as a retired sneakerhead so i will keep an eye on the secondary market on how to purchase an of1 poster now their clone x forge event is coming up as well as an irl event in tokyo by the end of this week for those wondering about clone x i covered that in a video and i recently went to an event here that was baic related or sponsored with baic dao japan and there was definitely a lot of clone x users here in japan so even though you think the floor is going down which it is the community is still strong and this forge event is a good way to see what direction the team is going with arts with artifact and nike with Dot Swoosh, this is their Genesis airdrop of digital posters for their R Force One release to those who have participated in the challenge. Have a Dot Swoosh ID. The OF1 box is available for purchase and will unlock the exclusive physical products and experiences. So this is definitely sounds like a long hold with the OF1 poster. And on an art side, it looks sick. It looks like a real poster that you would want hanged up. And especially with Air Force Ones being a classics, I could see that for collectors outside of digital goods. So what do R Force Ones, aka OF1, what do you think? Do you think Nike is here for the long run when it comes to digital to the digital space? Or what about Clone X? Sound off in the comments below what you think. You know what's just as crazy as Nike diving into NFTs? It's another house brand name, one that's a multinational chain of coffee houses. It's not other than Starbucks. If you want to know more, definitely check it out.